Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm opening wave two of the Make It Mini Spa. This is still series one. I hate when they do the two waves, but wave two is in the purple wrapper and it has all new soaps and bath bombs. Let's see what's inside. Containers are still the same it looks like where it makes a bathtub and it has this that goes across it. That's cute. Ooh, I'm excited. We got the Blossom Soap. So some of the soaps in Wave 2, instead of cutting them, they still have ones you cut. Um, they have some that are in molds. So I'm excited for that. We're going to mix the oil, the powder, form it with your hand for five minutes, press it into the mold. Looks like there's several different shapes. And then we're supposed to freeze it for 20 minutes. That's interesting. Um, to help set it up, and then you can use it as actual soap, I guess. I never tried that with the other stuff. I just kept it in a container for the kids to play with. So we have Blossom Essential Oil. Those are really cute bottles, good for repurposing. We have a flower shaped, what you call it? container. I don't know why I'm at a loss for words of what that is. Tray. <laughs> we also have the floral mold. Silicone, of course. Probably even pour resin in there to make other ones. Soap base, soap base. So can you make two rounds of that? Which I think is new. I don't think we were able to do that before. Or were we? It's been a minute since I've done the um, spa. These are the feet for that. Ooh, bowls are different too, aren't they? Weren't the other ones silver? I don't remember at this point. I feel like I have amnesia, but they always give you a loofah that's a different color. So we have a pink one, super soft. Let's clean up and start making this. Looking closer at the instructions, it does say times two. So we are supposed to dump both of those in there with, I'm assuming, the entire bottle. Maybe I'll mix it a little bit at, the, at a time to see how well it's coming together. I think, though, we've used the whole thing before. So let's, I should have done one of those at a time so it doesn't spill everywhere. Let's put all of that in there. And then this soap base powder. And then we have our blossom scent. Let's see what it smells like. Definitely has a floral scent. I think that was most of it, but let's mix it up and see. I assume it's going to be a Play-Doh-like Consistency. I think we're going to need everything that's in there. I love these little tiny essential oil looking bottles. They're so cute. So I'm going to mix that till it all looks clumpy. And then I'll try to pick it up and then mold it with my hands. Okay. I think I could kind of ball it up and mush it together. Maybe. <laughs> These are always kind of messy. So I'm supposed to knead this and then let it set for five minutes, I think is what I'm seeing. I don't think you're supposed to knead it for five minutes, so I think you're just supposed to ball it up. Kind of feels like Play-Doh or like cookie dough. It's a little sticky. Let's see if we can get everything, all the little pieces, and then we'll let it set for five minutes. Okay, now we're going to break off small bits and press them in here very firmly. Let's 
and I'm assuming it's going to make one of each. I don't know that we're going to have any leftovers, but I guess we will find out in just a moment. We'll have to freeze this for 20 minutes, it says. Hmm. Interesting. But I guess after that, it'll... I don't know if it dries and, like, stays that shape. Or if it's still going to have... This kind of Play-Doh texture. I'm excited to see the other ones too. There are three bath bombs, which I didn't really care for those. I thought they were going to be a lot funner than what they were. Um, I think they were a little I think, I want to say if I remember correctly, the first one I did was pretty good and then after that they were like breaking and really kind of finicky. So that's why I didn't really care for those. And then there's two sugar scrubs. My daughter made a mess with those and everything was sticky. So that's the only reason I'm not really a fan of this series. It's a cool concept for sure. But um, I think the soaps are probably the best out of there because she did keep those together without messing them up too bad. Okay, so I don't know if I filled those too much, but I do have enough left to probably make one more. Um, but yeah, I will freeze this for 20 minutes and I'll be back. I quit talking about what I was trying to talk about. There's six soaps. Four of them have molds. No, five of them. There's seven. Five of them have molds and two are the ones that you slice. So interesting. Hopefully we get more of the soaps. I think those will be the funnest from this set, but I'll be back when it's time to pop these out. Okay, it's been 20 minutes, so let's try to pop these out. Oh yeah, those come out real nicely when they're frozen. Good deal. Hardly any effort there. They're cold, but they're very solid. Looks like the prints on them um, took really well. I think I was out of focus there, so hopefully you can see better now. Um, but we have two of each print, and those turned out pretty cute. And then you can put them on the tray. And I guess you can actually use them. I did rinse my hands when all the stuff was on it. And it did leave like a pretty soft um, residue. So very cute. What do you guys think of these? Um, I think they're definitely going to be my favorite uh, for the spa series at least are the shaped soaps. So with that being said, overlooking the whole series, I would say these are probably a nine. Because they're easy to do. And they work well. They're not complicated. A little messy, but nothing too bad. It's not like you're dealing with sticky resin or anything. So, yeah. Very cool. If you would like to see me make more of the spa series, subscribe and stay tuned. I have at least four more that I will be posting in between posting the rest of my Hello Kitty series. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.